Marshal Chalry and his family moved to Castri St. Lucia in September 2001. His daughter Anissa, who was seven years of age at the time, became the newest student of the Camille Henry Memorial School. In the months leading up to the school sports, Anissa's teacher, Miss Karen Dupree, made a request of Mr. Chalry after being told that he was a former track athlete and he also had qualifications as a track and field coach. She asked him to assist the school in preparing the students for the inter-house sports meet and she also indicated that it would be a challenge because not all the teachers are in support of taking students out of class to prepare for sports. This is how Mr. and Mrs. Shalry began playing an active role as parents of the school and took up the task of helping transform the attitude towards sports and the idea of balancing sports and academics. This school was also known for its success academically. The task was to get parents and teachers to buy into the idea that the students can be very successful academically if they participate in some form of physical activity. The principal, Mrs. Noelina Louis, welcomed the idea and gave the support needed by encouraging the students. Mrs. Louis at the time disclosed to Mr. Chalry that she had a huge challenge with a few of the older boys who had not succeeded the common entrance examinations and had been allowed to continue into Standard 5 and Standard 6. Their behavior had been unacceptable. They were being defiant and disrespectful to teachers. She requested that Coach Shalry take on the challenge of helping the school with these students by engaging them with some physical activity. Of course, Mr. Shalry, who liked a challenge, did not back down from this opportunity. He was of the opinion that no challenge was big enough. However, the boys had a different idea of what their training should entail. They were disrespectful and very defiant, not willing to compromise. Mr. Shalry changed his strategy and implemented push-ups as a form of punishment for defiance. His use of reverse psychology worked wonders. After three months of active participation, they recognized the changes in their body and started comparing who had more muscles and who had more abs. The boys were more receptive, more responsible, more focused not only on the transformation that was happening with their bodies, but their schoolwork and behavior. At the Camille Henry Memorial Interhouse Meet, the boys were exceptional. Teachers recognized the team spirit and willingness to help with the other students. The transformation of these boys sealed the deal for Coach Shalry. The teachers and parents made a 360-degree turn regarding the attitude towards sports participation and involvement. Hence, the training session became part of the school environment and culture. The sessions were held three days a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 4.30 to 5.30 p.m. and Saturdays from 2.30 to 5.00 p.m. One parent, Mrs. Elaine Clement, a physiotherapist by profession and a longtime friend of Charlie's, committed her services to the development of young athletes. And what a success story it became. 25 students began the program in October. However, by the end of the month, there were 100 students who were actively involved in physical activity. In 2002, the school made history. From a last place finish in years before to a first place finish at the District 2 Inter-School Sports Championship. They were nicknamed the Dream Team after winning every relay event in the 2002 District 2 Track and Field Championships. These troubled boys were part of the team that began the process of a 12-year victory. The parents recognized that the young athletes had potential and were more willing to be part of the whole process of development. They encouraged Mr. Shalry to form a club as a means of keeping the children in active training, especially those who had expressed an interest in pursuing the sport as a career or as a means to further their education as well as to provide greater opportunities for competition. Hence, in 2004, the Rockets Athletic Club became a registered amateur athletic club with the SLAA and the Amateur Athletic Union USA. Ever since its formation, Rockets has enjoyed many huge successes which began a journey of touching lives, improving lives, sharing and making new memories. The club provides the following services to athletes counseling services from Mrs. Jacqueline Messiah Simeon, mathematics and SAT classes, 
from Mr. Stephen Edwin and Miss Anya James. Pair tutoring from Nicholas Lebrun and Anissa Shalry. Medical services from Dr. Payne and her staff of MK and Dr. Jeffers. Physiotherapy services from Miss Ionthi Husbands. Regional and international outings as a club. In 2005, Rockets participated in the first ever regional championship in Tobago, the Falcon Games. In 2006, Young Olympian Games in Barbados. 2007, Western Springfield Championships in Tobago. 2008, 2010, and 2012, the Amateur Athletic Union, the AAU Club Championships in Orlando, Florida. 2016 and 2018, the Hampton International Games in Trinidad. Activities include Club St. Lucia Family Fun Day from 2004 to 2006, Coconut Bay Resort Family Fun Day in 2007, Christmas Fiesta on Pigeon Island in 2009, 2011, Bay Gardens Christmas Party, 2011, Morgan Day Family Fun Day, 2015, Family Fun Day at the VG Beach, Island Cruise in 2017, just to name a few. There are also educational activities, one-on-one -on -one with Janelle Shepper, Kurt Hosam team building sessions and emotional intelligence workshops for parents and athletes. Recruitment process, international scholarships, one-day workshop, track and field coaching development, three-day workshops, parent workshops, conflict resolution, and the list continues. Community projects, social responsibility projects, slabs for the Camille Henry School, donation of clothing items and food to the people of Totola and Dominica as well as our people in St. Lucia, victims of Hurricane Thomas, the Children's Home in Cicero, Cancer Walk, Diabetes Awareness Campaign, National Lotteries Debate on the Legalization of Marijuana, Technical Assistance to District 2 Schools in Track and Field and Development etc. just to name a few. Among the success stories, 14 of our athletes have been honored to represent this beautiful island of St. Lucia at the IAAF World Youth Games in 2013, the Carifta Games from 2009 to 2016, the Northern American and Caribbean Athletic Championships age group 2015 and 2017, Caribbean Union of Teachers CUT Games in 2016, and the Caribbean Under-16 Championships 2015 and 2016. Two agencies have filmed short documentaries about the success of our program. The BBC World Short Documentary, shot in April 2014, and the French Discovery Program, Beautiful Escapes, October 2015. Rocket called me in as a counsellor for athletes. The task um, generally was to support self-esteem. Rockets provided, beyond being an athletic club, provided an environment where their athletes can grow as a whole person. So I was called in to give the psychosocial therapeutic interventions where they thought it was necessary. Rocket took the approach that the club was more than a club, it was a family. And therefore, when a child was coming into counseling, I often had sessions with parents as well, some of them even long term, so that the, the parent would understand what the challenges were for children. And it also, I had a lot of interactions with the admin level of the club so that they understood as well where challenges their athletes may be having. So it was a, a, a full circle of working with the club, the athlete, and the parent of an athlete to ensure that all dimensions were, were covered as we dealt with their social problems. One of the things that I actually said to, to Martina Shalry one time was that while I understood what Rockets wanted to do, I thought sometimes they took on this major challenge to ensure that each athlete was getting everything they needed to succeed. And so working with them was like, they were very, very close to their athletes and would not send me a single athlete without sitting down with me to really give me an understanding of what the club wanted to see happen. And, you know, so when we were working on results, they were able to measure it along with me. They were really quite a joy to work with. I think Rockets now has a model that needs to be developed. 
maybe fine-tuned but i think they we hear a lot about using sports for development and rockets i think has really designed for themselves a model for using sports to develop a whole person because the club has brought in other expertise that they didn't have to ensure that the athlete was not just doing sports but was doing what was necessary to become a productive person so i i think they've got a model that we really need to look at some more can you do that you should be able to do that right Lucidec is interested in helping to provide opportunities for young people and opportunities perhaps that they may not have had otherwise. Um, when we look at Rockets, um, Rockets is an a, a athletics club that seeks to develop um, the talents of young people um, on and off the field. And um, we, we believe that they have a, an excellent structure in place um, to do the things that they have said that they would do. And we are happy with the level of accountability that they have shown um, for the sponsorships or donations that we have provided to the club. And the working with young people, helping them to um, develop those talents that they have um, in athletics um, is really helping young people or helping to provide opportunities for young people to be able to be their best. And um, Rockets has done fairly well with that, uh, both in terms of the successes that they have had um, at the level of the individual athletes, at the level of the club, and also the accountability that they have displayed in reporting on how the sponsorships and donations that we have made to the club is being used to deliver the results that they, that they, that they want. Good governance, strong alignment with our values, and a focus on results. These are among the reasons why Massey Stores and Rockets have developed such a good relationship over the last seven to eight years, which is growing from strength to strength. There's a good feeling that we get just engaging with the coach, getting the reports and updates on the team and their progress. It is obvious that there is a lot of time and investment in building the Rockets family, which is an important ingredient for the future. So Massey Stores congratulate you on your 14th anniversary and thank you for the opportunity to support your efforts at youth development in St. Lucia. The heat, the energy comes from down here, up, right, and it's straight. Currently I offer um, training and support. I've done a few workshops with the parents and with the, um, with the athletes. And it was really designed that one of the first initiatives was um, to help the young people in terms of managing their time and, um, and recognizing um, their emotions in terms of emotional intelligence and being able to help them to, you know, succumb to depression. Athletics has a certain amount of pressure that comes upon our young people and the emotional intelligence session was there to help them to be able to manage the pressure and, um, and also the time management to be able to kind of apportion their time properly to make sure that they maximize use of their time and be more efficient. I also conducted that session with the parents. Uh, one of the, the goals we really wanted out of that was to get the parents and the kids kind of talk, talking about the same thing and just working together, you know, to, um, to become better because we all could become better at the end of the day. I admire the management's effort to, to look at holistic building of the, the club in terms of the needs of the parents and the athletes that go beyond um, what, is, what, what you would think that an athletic club would do. My experience is um, the, the leadership of the club is very open to suggestions, um, very open in terms of feedback and coaching. I know on occasion I've been able to speak with them and sit with them in some one-on-one -on -one sessions with some of the young people and so So I think they're very open 
to change and progress and they're really for the betterment of athletics within St. Lucia and the, the human beings that they are dealing with or giving responsibility for. And what I find refreshing with Rockets Athletic Club is the, the fact that they are not only looking at the, um, the, the athletic skills, but they are actually developing the whole human. Um, they're looking at, at the requirement for social interaction and for personal development, and they're concerned with way beyond just the um, receiving of a, a gold medal. They are more focused on a holistic development of the young people and care for the young people. Um, it's almost as though the coaches um, take the role of an informal parent to make sure that the children are actually doing what they're supposed to do and that there's a holistic development approach to them and I think that that is commendable because a lot of institutions lack that holistic thing. They're just about what the matter at hand, which in this case would be athletics, but I believe it's more than that. And even in terms of their outreach to the parents and efforts to bring parents together and, and have workshops to kind of develop the parents and to develop the family and to create that family environment, I think is something that is very, very significant and, and should not be underscored at all.